Cedarburg Cultural Center would like to welcome Catherine DeShazer as the March Artist in Residence. Welcome, Catherine. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome. Can you start by telling us a little bit about what media you work in and what the current uh, focus of your work is? Yes, I work in egg tempera, and this is a, a medium of antiquity. I actually do take raw egg yolk and mix it with some Pinot Grigio wine. I prefer that. It smells nicer. And then I have my um, dry pigments. So these are historical uh, for light and color fastness, and I get them from several purveyors around the country, including um, some Russian connections, if you will. Um, so we're dealing with things like um, uh, lapis lazuli, uh, lazurite, uh, diaptas, uh, suric, titanium, all sorts of different mediums or pigments, I should say. So, um, And my current focus of work is this icon that you see here. I do um, icons in the traditional Byzantine Russian style. However, I have different aesthetics that I do work in. Um, so this is Prophet Elijah, and uh, this is called a Vita icon. In other words, there are vignettes of his miracles throughout his life. So that's my current work at the moment. Mm. So, Catherine, who or what are your inspirations, and what is it about art that excites you? Uh, um, since I was a kid, I really, Mother Nature and humans, people in general, really fascinate me, and to this day they still do. So I like to work in my medium that takes kind of the transfigured human, if you will, and I get to work with these things from nature. Um, I'm also a stained glass artist, and I'm also learning to paint in other mediums, so that also is intriguing me in how I can bring nature and the human person together. Um, I have a fascination with faces, so I'm um, embarking upon doing portraits, if you will, but not portraits in how we see people, but more expressionist type portrait work. Hmm. Well, that's, I guess, another aspect of my current work, but not as well. <laughs> and what prepared you for your career? Um, I've always been a dabbler in the arts and crafts, if you will, and so I just sat down and did stuff. I wasn't necessarily taking classes or anything like that. Um, so what prepared me, I don't know. I think I just like to sit down and do it and ask questions. Um, this particular medium is not difficult. But it does require you to understand, well, what are these pigments? Because they all have different characteristics. And that's the fun part of it. Oh, and I forgot to say that I even work with gold assist. So I grind up some gold leaf and, and gum arabic and use that, which you'll see on the, on the icons, too. Mm. Um, so how do you view your role in society as an artist? Um, as an artist, uh, I like to educate people. So as a teacher, an art teacher, I really want to help people understand what art is and, and how huge art is and how huge artists are because everybody is an artist in their own right. And when people say, no, I can't do anything, well, you probably can. It's just not maybe a visual art, but maybe you are an artist in the chemistry lab or whatever. So I really take it uh, quite personally that I help educate people about art in general and themselves as artists. And what have been some of your obstacles along the way? Um, helping people understand that everybody's an artist. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yes, it's not so much that that person's better or that person's not a very good artist. They just haven't um, mastered their medium yet. They have, you have to learn a language. Every art thing, medium, whatever is a language. And you have to learn that language like you would French or Italian or even chemistry, that's a language too. So the idea that you need to study and learn that language, I guess that's really what it's all about is, is getting through that obstacle. And how do you continue to challenge yourself? Um, well, like working with different mediums because if you don't keep asking why and, and so forth, um, yeah, you might as well maybe not do it anymore. <laughs> So what are your dreams and plans for the uh, future as it relates to your career in the arts? Um, I do want to continue with my iconography. I really find that um, very contemplative because it is a liturgical art. 
Um, but I also have uh, the, the impetus, if you will, or the energy, whatever it is, to uh, work in different medias and um, just to have fun. Um, of course, like I was talking about the painter, the, the portrait stuff, but I also want to um, work more in plein air because that's your nature. And I just like all of those changing colors in nature are just really fantastic. So that's kind of where I'm heading. Well, Catherine, it's been a wonderful month having you here with us at the Cultural Center. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.